Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I was recently contacted by Max Nut Studios and they were interested in me doing a review on these free head sculpts that they've released. And two of them are the Eric Killmonger head sculpts played by Michael B. Jordan. And then the third and final head sculpt is a Chadwick Boseman Black Panther head sculpt, which is a big improvement over the one Hot Toys provided with this figure. So I don't have Killmonger anymore, unfortunately. I did have him at one point, but then I sold him back to the Figure Pit, which he is still available on the website. That's thefigurepit.com, so you can get him for a good price on there. So I'm going to have to show you the Killmonger heads on the Black Panther figure, so we'll just have to imagine that he basically stole the suit or something. I know the proportions on the body are slightly different, especially around the traps on the neck area. Um, Killmonger was a bit more beastly but it should be fine for the video. Anyway, I want to thank MaxNut for reaching out and asking if I was interested in doing the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Makes a little change from all of the Michael Myers and horror stuff that I've been doing lately. Uh, nice to have a little bit of Marvel back on the channel, but then once this video is done, I'll be back to the horror stuff, because it is October after all. So I hope you enjoy it. Drop a like on the video, make sure you subscribe, and check out MaxNut Studios, where you can get these head sculpts. Beautiful presentation with the box. I've already had a little peek, and each head sculpt has its own individual really nice little square box there but we'll get a closer look now right and here are the three boxes that the head sculpts come in so this one says km01 and it's interesting because on the box for this one it's got half of the black panther head and then half of the killmonger head so really nice artwork though beautiful very nice that would have been a cool uh head sculpt to get but really nice, very nicely presented. And this one here, this is the other Killmonger head. Again, very nice presentation all the way around. And here is the Chadwick Boseman sculpt, which I'm really looking forward to displaying on Mr. Black Panther here. Love that artwork there, that is gorgeous. There we go. Very nice. All right, so let's bust them out. All right, let's take a look at the first of the two Eric Killmonger head sculpts. This one, uh, it's a bit more of a neutral expression. The other one having a really big kind of sneering grin with the teeth showing. I like the hair on this one, really nicely sculpted. Great paintwork on the eyes, very nicely detailed, and there's a really nice texture to the skin that's not hard to see. You can pick up on that all around the face. I'm, you know, this angle right here works really well. But there is a certain kind of look to the lips on this one, almost like they're puckered, like he's getting ready to give you a big old kiss. And it looks a bit baby-faced. Definitely baby face is what I'd use for this one. I mean, maybe Chadwick, not Chadwick Boseman, uh, sorry, Michael B. Jordan. Maybe he has a little bit of that going on in real life, but I don't know. Uh, but great texture to the skin. Now, obviously, this Killmonger head is not supposed to go on the Black Panther body. Uh, he's a bit more slender Black Panther, so you can see a bit of an overlap, which you probably wouldn't get if it was on the body that it's supposed to be on. But you get the idea. Really, really nice detail on the hair. Very, very well sculpted. I'll just come around here and all that texture coming through really, really nicely. You can see a bit of an obvious seam there. So that could have been blended in a bit better. But all in all, a fine head sculpt. Not too bad. Probably my least favorite of the three, but we'll move on now to the other Killmonger head with the sneering grin, smile, whatever you want to call it. All right, now on to the more aggressive of the two Killmonger sculpts. This one's really good. Got the teeth showing, really nicely sculpted and painted. Uh, the eyes, nice and intense. Uh, great job again on the hair sculpt. This one seems to be sitting a little bit more flush on the Black Panther body. So nice fade with the hair transitioning nicely with the color. And nice and intense. The furrowed brow. Again, the skin texture coming through really nicely. And we can tilt the head up. There we go. Looks nice and intense. And let's see how far down we can get it to go. Not too far down, but you can get me looking really sinister. Oh, you've got these little dimples as well. Dimple action. So all the details present and correct. So I definitely prefer this one out of the two when it comes to Eric Killmonger. 
He was a pretty cool character in the film. All right, so now we move on to the third and final head sculpt, the man himself, Mr. Chadwick Boseman. All right, and here he is, and a very, very strong likeness on this one. Also, when you open up the, the little box that this one comes in, there's this really nice kind of cardboard um, foldable, you know, three different images of Chadwick Boseman on there which I guess you could display next to the figure if you wanted to. It's a nice inclusion. So, here it is. And I will have to get the Hot Toys head sculpt out to compare. It's been a while since I looked at that one. It's been in the drawer with all of the rest of my accessories. Now, this one's... I would have thought this would be absolutely flush because it is meant to be on this figure but there is a little bit of a gap at the back of the neck. I have pressed it down onto the joint, but I'm still seeing a little bit of protrusion at the back there. I guess, um, yeah, there doesn't really seem to be much I can do about that. But down to the likeness and the paint work, very, very good work from every angle, especially a skew here, very strong likeness to the late Chadwick Boseman. Massive respect to the man. He um, just carried on working and carried on helping people all the while we were unaware that he was going through some well i mean the, the biggest challenge a person can go through is to know that their end is coming sooner than they expected and to carry yourself with dignity and just mad respect to the guy and it yeah i don't want to bring everyone down but yeah it's very sad when we lost chadwick boseman so i hope wherever he is right now he's um he's at peace there we go, it looks a little bit thoughtful there. I was trying to get him to look up. There we go. Very nice. Now get him looking down a little bit. Also very good. So folks, let me know your thoughts. Uh, which head sculpt do you prefer out of the three? And don't forget, you can get in touch with Max Nut Studio. Google it and you'll find them pretty easy. They've got a Facebook page, Instagram. So that's Max Nut, M-A-X-N-U-T. And they've done some great statues as well from the looks of things. And some more options uh, if you're into Killmonger. I think there's a really cool statue of Killmonger where he's topless and you can see all the little scars from all the people he's taken out over the years. So that was pretty interesting. So yeah, really a lot of life in the eyes. Very good. So let me just show it next to the Hot Toys one and then we'll call it a D. All right, so here is the Hot Toys head sculpt next to the Max Nut, which is on the body. And definitely, definitely an improvement. The likeness. I mean, now that I can see them side by side, it is night and day. It's very obvious that the Max Nut sculpt is more accurate looking than the Hot Toys one. Seeing the Hot Toys one now, it's like, damn. I mean, that's that's not that's not that great, is it? That's interesting. I would have to go back and check out my Black Panther review to see what I said about this head sculpt at the time. But obviously, having this Max Nut sculpt here, that's really opened up my eyes to the the fact that the likeness on the Hot Toys one was not that strong maybe from certain angles but no uh, skin tone looks better on the max nut hair detail looks better on the max nut the eyes uh, the lips facial hair looks a bit more realistic on the max nut as well that's interesting interesting let me just take it off for a second and just hold them side by side here so max nut on the right Hot toys on the left. Interesting. Yeah, there's no question about it. So, hope you've enjoyed the video, folks. Definitely recommend you pick up the box set of the three different heads. Very impressed with them. All right. I hope you're having a great October. And I will see you on Sunday for a live stream review of Halloween Kills, which I'm seeing tomorrow, which is Friday. So Sunday, 8 p.m. UK time on this channel, a nice live stream, all dedicated to Halloween Kills. And I'll be sharing my thoughts and talking to you guys about it. But thanks again to Max Nut for sending these along. 
Really do appreciate it. That's an amazing angle right there. Very impressed with this one. Very impressed. Look at that. All right. See you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.